Welcome back to Build a Nation Silesia, where we ask the question, if Silesia was its own nation, just how good would they be at football? Jumping into FM here, and the answer to that question is, eh, okay. So we qualified for the Euros, as did Poland and Czech Republic, and hey, those are our two nations that we took land from to make this Silesia. So, you know, there are rivals. Let's play some, some workup games for the Euros that are coming up in a couple months. And we played both games at home. This one was in Witkowice, which is Bonico Strava Stadium. Just got off to a good start through Christoph Piatek in 11 minutes. Then the second half, they just ran circles around us. Lewandowski scores, Kozłowski and Premislav Frankowski grabs three goals. They dominated this game. We were looking pretty good in the first half. Second half was a completely different story. Maybe they're a little beat up about us taking some of their land, so... We'll get them back, though. We'll keep playing Poland and Czech Republic. Uh, second game against Czech Republic, also at home, in Schlosky and Hortsov. And look who came back to haunt us. Adam Lozak, who uh, briefly was a Silesian player, but because of the database being kind of incorrect about where this guy's actually from, says he was born in Ivanchicha which in the database says it's in Silesia, but it's technically not. I think he's technically Moravian. So he comes back to haunt us and scores two goals. But hey, Jakub Kaminski, after a long injury, he's back, our young winger. So it was the battle of the wingers. We ended up this one 2-2. Two to two. They kind of outplayed us. But considering Czechia is ranked 39th, which is kind of low for them, and Poland is ranked, like, yeah, up to 23rd, 26th currently, not terrible results all around, but um, today, though, we are back at Schleza. We're looking good. We qualified at least for the playoffs. The last time we were here, we played against, beat Sagwabi Lubin. We beat Trinek 6-0 in the cup. Since then, it's been pretty good. Got the Plony Bitum win as well, 3-1. Then we beat, uh, beat Ribnik for 2 which is a decent performance. This one against Stahl Berzig was not great. Then an 8 0 against Pavlovica. Just dominating performance. I think we were up 6 0 at 31 minutes. Then we tacked on a couple more. Completely dominating performance. Another good win. And then Zmigrod, we decided not to delay this game because we were missing quite a few players. Some under 21s and under 19 internationals for both Poland and Silesia, but 1 1 performance there. Today we got the back to back Polkowice games in the league. And then just a couple days after that, we play them in the semifinal of the FA Cup. So let's get the team ready, jump right in. We're holding firm in first place. We are 10 points clear of the playoffs. So the top two spots are automatic promotion, but let's just get this team ready to go back to back. Let's do what we can do. It's like Suavemir Musialik is injured. We've got Nidvietchki, who was playing up top because we were missing so many players. Apparently Magdiak is ineligible because this is his official club. Um, we've got a couple injuries though, so it's a bit annoying. I think Warzhiniak's probably going to have to come in this one. And we need somebody to play up top. Marchevka's injured. Wachiachowski's injured as well. That's annoying. We have Haresh and Chelinsky is ineligible too. That's annoying. Mitzel can come in on the bench. Maybe we'll play a number 10 on this game. Just one time. Because I don't have any strikers, but Mitzel can come in and play that position. And that looks like it's going to be okay. Alfonso's still injured. Chuck him on the bench just in case. 
You have a backup goalkeeper, sure, why not? Nobody else I really want to play. We might play Vanda just to start. Since he's still kind of complaining about game time, but that looks like it's going to do. Yeah, we're running a little thin right now. Especially since these both of these guys... Oh, that means they're not even going to be able to play in the cup. That's annoying. That's okay. We'll see what we can do here. We're on a good run. Let's keep it going. Um, oh, I've been keeping an eye on the striker. He looks okay. I think I could pick him up on a free, but he's not great as we walk through the Harry Potter wall on our way out to the game. Here we go. Back to back. I'm more concerned about the cup, but that's a good start, though. Inside one minute, Mateusz Rana with the header off the corner. We're set piece magicians this year. Good stuff. Serpina Orana facing away, hits it off the back of his head and it's into the net. You'll love to see it. Let's pull up the lead table once we get a chance. We should be on key highlights. That's what I do for the cup or for the uh, club games. Usually go extended for the international games, unless that's a friendly. Mitzel's in the box, plays it back. We lose possession, though, and they're away. Rana intercepts, though. Now we'll pull up the league table. We're looking at Polonia Bittum's playing rib neck today. Hopefully they drop some points and we can seal up this league title, maybe. Seal up promotion, possibly, today. Serpina drives inside. Haresh, the lone striker today. First time we've done that this season. Pizarchuk tries in, he's got the pass. If he can find him, just takes it on his own. Pizarchuk's on contract through next year. He's 30 years old. Rana again outside of the netting. Let's see, record BB is the other team that could potentially climb up in. They're winning 2 0 on Klukspark. But this would be a pretty good result for us. Obviously, I'd take the cup between the two games because that would put us in the final with a chance to be a second division side. Looks like we'll be promoted, but a second division side winning the cup and going to Europe. There's Haresh for a second one. He's off. He was off there. He looked pretty level with this guy, Mark and Pudic. Yo, he's off. I don't think he's off. We don't get a replay on that one. He looked on to me. And Polonia Bittim is losing, which puts us currently seven points clear. Can we grab a second before halftime? Serpina crosses into Harush. He's on this time. No, nope, it's Nijvjecki. It's like his header was wide. It's 1-0. They have no shots. Yeah, I'm pleased. Just keep it up. Pleased with the shots. Pleased how we've shut them down. And pleased that Ribnik is beating Polonia Bitum. From the corner. Again, Colossa. 2 0. This will make it 11 games without defeat. Dominating dominating in our first season. Get up into the Premier League, fix our finances a little bit, and then we'll really get underway. Having a good time at Schleza. I'm not married to this club, though. I think I want to build them up and make them like a solid contender and then maybe start looking at Colossa again. Beautiful. I think we start making some subs. We're just crushing this team. We can just let it run, too. We'll get Samyets in. 
for Orana. Give Alfonso a game. Mirak can come in for Trachik. Maybe Lasovsky for Nidzviejczki, who hasn't really played very well. I'll never play this guy. He's absolutely terrible. Probably just bring in Warginiak, kind of like last 10 minutes, just keep his fitness levels up. But we should be able to close this one out. The cup game is away, though. So it's going to be a tougher test. But hopefully these boys are... You know, morale is lowered a bit after this performance. And hopefully Ribnik can hang on. Record BB is... Oh, they're back up 3-2. Zmigrod's up there, up 1-0. Plony Bittum have leveled. Oh, I said I was going to bring in Warginiak. He's on the way out to Trobri. Unfortunately, we couldn't hang on to him. His player interactions and FM. Looking forward to more of that in the future of this save. Okaj crosses it in. Kalinski looks like a free kick. He was offside. All right, we'll take that. Looking for the fourth here. Not the greatest pass. Kalinsky tries to chase it down, but now they've got numbers on the break. If they can find something. Mewski was onside. We left a bunch of space down the middle. And we give him a goal and a little bit of confidence going into the cup cam. Let's go cautious. Let's just waste this time out. I don't want to watch that. That was ugly. And Polonia Bittum have taken the lead. 90 plus 2. They score on their only shot of the game, but we get the 3-1 win. Good performance. That'll do. And, yep, looks like we're still four points clear. Four games left. And we'll skip ahead to the cup game. All right, we're back for team selection here. For the cup game, let's see what we can manage. Wachichowski's injured. Marchevska's injured. I don't care. Well, he passed his fitness test, though. They both did. You know what? We'll stick with this formation, though. Virginiak's going to come back in on the left. And I think that's the only change we're going to make. Serpina's kind of tired. Kalinsky's not doing too good, either. Robles still out. I think we'll go with this, though. These, these two boys still can't play, even though he's joining us at the end of the year. I think we'll stick with the same formation. We can make changes if we need to. But... Yeah, Vanda maybe comes in. Then Marchevka, Wachichowski, if we need more strike force up top. But I think we can do it with the team we got. We just beat them 3-1 and smashed them. It's an away game, though, and it's the cup, so you never know. Let's show them that the praise is justified. Put on a real show. Looks like they've kept their same formation. Just a couple days later, so their fitness level should be right at ours. Pretty level. The other game is... Petrkovica and Rukhortsov. Rukhortsov losing 1-0 early, the only Premier League team. We are not off to a flying start here. 20 minutes in, no shots. Let's see if we can work something here. Trachik. Kalinski. They're playing a pretty flat defensive line. If we can maybe play balls over the top. Serpina cuts inside. Good dribble here. Plays it out wide. Warzhiniak. A bit of space. Finds Trachik. 
Nidvietchki's on the side there. He takes the shot. It's 1-0. Was he off? Was he off? I don't like to do the little check thing. I think he's on. I think that's a goal. And it is. It was Orginia cutting inside, finding Tracek. Gets it out wide quickly to Nidvietchki. Takes the shot. Knees go to. Could have done a little better there. We're going to go ahead and do this because I think we can beat the ball. Beat them with the ball over the top. Let's take a look at the line here. Oh, yeah, well on side. Oh, yeah, make them changes. Two yellows for our team, though. We don't like to see that. Colossa and Nidvietchki. In the defensive formation here, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can close up shop. Uh, nope. Thought that was a couple of fouls there in the box. Ends up just falling to their player. And he smashes it in the back of the net. It's 1-1. Yeah, that one's awarded. It's like... Boom. Penalty, penalty, penalty. No. But maybe a foul on their guy even on the third one. And in the end, what, this is almost offside too, was it? That pass wasn't. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's fine. 1-1 one, one in the other game. Here we go. Corners. This is what we do. Serpina to Colossa. Colossa's on a 6.3. I hate to see it. Falls to Mitzel, though, and he hits his first... That's his third goal of the season, apparently. His first for us, though, since he's come in on loan. And it's 2-1. Nobody claims the ball here near post. It falls right to Mitzel. Looks like it goes between the goalkeeper's legs. 2-1. And we're right back in the action here. Nidvietchki reads the dribble, takes the ball off of him, and schlays in possession. Let's see what we can build here. Patient, the little Ole is coming out from the crowd. Hey. Hey. Can you find Horesh? Tragic driving in the box. Ball across. It's Wojciniak with the header. Off the post. Looks like he got a touch to it. Petrkovica back up 2-1. And we are going to take our lead into halftime. Looks like Colossus is doing a little better. Um, yeah, we're doing well. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I don't know. Do I want to make any changes? I don't like the yellows. Mitzel's doing good. I don't really want to bring in... Go into a 4-4-2, and this is kind of working for us. Marginianak's not playing great. I think we keep it for about 15 minutes, and then we'll see. Rokortsov have equalized. Serpina's dead. Tracek in a good spot. Can he get the ball across? Falls to Horesh. Runs through to Mitzel. And it's 3-1. Bizarchuk plays the ball over the top. Trashik is just creating all sorts of issues. They mark Horesh. They don't mark Mitzel. And the number 10 now has scored two goals for us. He's supposed, per his loan agreement, he's supposed to play Mazzala. Well, this doesn't look good. And it isn't. Is he offside, though? I think he might have been. And he's not. It's a goal for Polkovica. They play it over the top here. Yeah, he's easily onside. No whack in no man's land. Still the Ole is from the crowd. We lose possession here, though. Koresh isn't looking too happy with the situation. We'll probably bring him off. Lifted forward. None of our players are going for it, though. We look pretty content to just sit here. 
I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Slips the ball through to Bankovic, who misses an absolute sitter. We're going to bring on Wachichowski for Horesh. He plays pressing forward. We're going to drop Orzhiniak back in. He's going to play inverted winger on support. Let's do that for now. I think we bring Serpina off and Pizarchuk. Yeah, let's let's freshen up the wingers, wing backs rather. Serpina's Coloss is gonna move over. We'll bring on the 41-year-old Samiets who's retiring. Let's see if we can close this game out. Let's go cautious. Let's drop that off. We can get rid of this and this. Maybe just drop the line back a little bit. Yeah, always press that guy. Rokortsov up 3-2. Kalinsky's kind of tired. Press, press, press. Can we close this game out? Malevsky's in a good spot. Left foot! Is this one offside? Lots of close calls today. I think the right back kept him on. It's disallowed. Whew. Ooh, Gabriel Alfonso almost kept him on. But he doesn't. We've got one more stoppage here. Orginiac's on a 6.2. Get out of my team. Now what do we do? Do we bring on Marchevka? He's carrying a knock. I think we don't. Maybe just, I think we do this. I think we bring on Murat. Waste a little time. Regroup defensively. A wing back defend, actually just full back. Support. You're going to go fullback support as well. Here we go. Let's close this thing out. Records off up 4 2. And we give a last little minute, fire up, piss them off a little bit so they tackle a little bit harder. And we got through back to back wins over Gornik Polkovica. And in our first season as a second division side, we have made the FA Cup final, which means if we can beat Rook Hortsov, the Silesian flag bearers for so long, the fallen giant, we can beat them. We will be playing in the Europa Conference League next season. We get money, 2K, it's nothing, but what we do get once we make it to the final if we lose, we get 200K. If we win, we get 1.2 million. So I will take that. That game is, says it's unknown, but the draw's obviously been made. Oh, it's one, no, it's 10 days after Petr Kavica. And we know it's gonna be against Ruk Hortsov. Uh The league looks like it's about sealed up. I might come back for the Petr Kavica game. That could probably be the one where we actually seal the title. And then definitely the game against Rook Hortsov. And if we need to play the third game, it'll be a triple header. But that's it for this episode. It's kind of long. We played two games, but we're through to the FA Cup final. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Happy you're here. Thanks for watching. Rock on Silesia. We'll see you next time.